That'd be great. Yeah. And there we go. Good luck, guys. Have fun. It's game one. Well, Eden versus Good Blame Elias and Retinopolis. Well. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. This is the, the best part that we've been waiting for the first match. <laughs> Not gonna like it'd be kind of funny if like some like half the team just like disconnected now. <laughs> I mean, I would be a little bit be funny. Surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Shenzhen's a lot of Shenzhen's, a lot of Reapers as well. Uh, Reapers are a massive thing in this map for sure, oh, especially for the defense. Yeah, the attackers as well have got like half the over half their team have got Reapers. Yeah, Eden with like the first park. attack. I don't even well. have a dog. <laughs> I'm hearing a dog barking as if it's in my living room there. What the hell? That was weird. Sorry. Um, look at the the matchup though. They've got plenty of pole axes on the attack there. A couple of uh, musket players as well. Gosex even picking up a musket for a change for a bit. So Isn't spear. Nope, nope. Changed to spear. Just as I said it. You must have heard me. You must have been like, wait a minute. I'm not using that. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be. An interesting kind of startup here, strategy wise. You think they're going to kind of go towards the A point first, going through the supply point and working your way down? How would you, uh, how would you go about doing Regionopolis first part? Do you think the defense would just Bom bombard obviously the walls, bombard the back wall if you can next to C, so it's already down. Um, get the towers in just so you got options. Normally they can't get destroyed anyway, and they can't place artillery. I don't think tunnel push is going to work. Mm -hmm. on, on a tournament setting because it's just too easy to bottleneck if somebody notices that they do it doing like a full tunnel push it'd be so easy to stop that I reckon yeah. um, I reckon they have to go supply and gate at the same time yeah see the, the fact it is not a CBL rules where you've got like limited lives and there's like it's more like a siege but at the same time competitive siege it's a it's a different story where you think like how they're going to attack it I find because on a siege uh, you would defend A and B and whatnot, but on CB rivals, not uh, like on the CB tournaments, normally you don't defend A or B at all. You just go up to C and defend from there, um, because then it makes it harder for them to do anything. There's no way easy access. It's literally two chokeholds that you have to worry about. Exactly. Um, but yeah, it's going to be interesting this time around to see if they just full defend A or B, or if they just disappear and go straight think. back to C. Did they but it does... jump out the city? Oh, no, just on the I don't walls. know. No, on the walls, yeah. It does look like a lot of the players are jumping off back to see in the defense yeah, they're, here. They're sending all yeah, their units back at least. Yeah. They make themselves look as if they're taking apart on the front wall, as always. Like, make yourself a full dominance of people up there before they start getting any sieges up and using the siege equipment just to whittle down units and heroes and stuff um, as yeah. much as they possibly can before they to see each towers push up and that's definitely a big bombards. difference as well with the defended and cannons on this because you can't place your own artillery nobody even tries <laughs> taking down siege towers it's just try and kill a couple Ooh, uruguay just got uruguay bombarded is... on the on the corner that, of the tower is that what that was a bombard yeah he got hit oh, by yeah, the bombard on the uh, like right behind the the attacker's supply he was up on the wall would you imagine even in standing in a position like that knowing <laughs> that a bombard could potentially wipe you out straight away that's just unlucky though man like i don't think he was expecting to shoot at one hero but if I've killed two though with that, it must have been that bombard he's killed two, um, which is pretty pretty interesting. I didn't it even realize it was two. I only seen then. I only seen the one pop up, but yeah, there's two of them died to the bombard. So a oh, Panzer Jerry as well, yeah. And they're all pulling so back now as well. Yeah, there you go. Everybody's pulling back. You're going to get the, the typical grab A. Somebody else will chase some of the heroes around just to try and see if they can push them back as much as possible. But they'll grab A and B for free. Um, as it stands, and then this is where they start having to work their way into the main area. You can't use any artillery, so like getting that breach down is going to be a bit of a nightmare because it's a breach. So if they've got uh, cannons far back on the out in the open world that they're using just now to try and break down the war tribes, that's the only way really they're getting the breach down. But they are yeah. they are taking some damage to it. It's down at twenty two percent, along with the the main wall uh, where the arch is is getting taken down as well. But the just defenders slowly, but surely. Five sets of Fortabrachios out as well. That is going to be rough to get through. They've got a guy yeah, blocking the uh, the seaside supply as well. Aaron always Modal just to slow stuff down. Boy, that's going to be rough, man. How many muskets do Eden have? Muskets? Uh, they have only two. one. Oh, First two, flying yeah. overnight, First and then they've got yeah. a short bow. Because the way without using mortars would possibly be to bomb them. But with only two guys, I think they might struggle with that. They've got no Shen... No, they've got one Shenzhen out as well. 
I mean, they've got like, like players like uh, Azmi and the Ghost X who can change over to a musket if they need to do something like that. They have the opportunity. Yeah. They're wearing medium armor, so they've got that chance and uh, can do that if need be. But Blame Elias here, as you can see, they're not actually like doing what I was expecting them to do strategy-wise. They're defending inside of C point, right? And some people obviously do that because where C is, it's obviously a lot easier to do this. We were doing it a different way on this day. The other maps because like when it comes to taking Reginopolis as a capital map you don't have a C point so like you don't defend there you defend yeah. a bit differently but and because there's no mortars as well they're basically safe on the inside if we're being honest they just have to yep. worry about musket bombs and shenjin bombs yeah exactly and uh Senji Grenadiers have they got any out on the attack just now just the one just it's now just so the one. oh no, no two Don Dolores has yeah. got them out in overnight as well so I think he just swapped, and the defenders have got two sets out into Kaylee. Have you seen there's a Kaylee in placement as well? He's just moved. Look at, Zeng look at Zenga faking up a bombard <laughs> just because. <laughs> just baiting his bombard as if he's going to post the bombard. Instant disqualification. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, well, this is where now. it becomes an opportunity now. You all have to move together, and as you can see, Eden are getting everybody moving together. They've got all their units, and now they're starting to they're make They're going to go for the way. supply, I think. They're going to go all the way around. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try and blick. Like, there's nothing around there, to be honest. Yeah, like, it's probably there. a great idea to do it. There's nothing defending it. There is guys on the right-hand side. Uruguay's up there, but I don't know what unit he has while I'm up there, because he's totally going to get chased to the home point, and they'll try and pick up the kill as much, uh, if they can from Uruguay. Blame Elise have got a lot of their units up on the walls around the sea. They've got oh, a couple here comes units Uruguay's down Keshik. towards the supply as well. Your guy takes his Keshiks around here and just wipes the heroes that are trying to fight him there. That was that was a great idea for Uruguay. He will fall though at some point here because there's plenty of heroes coming after him. Um, but he did take a couple of heroes at the same time. Three heroes, not to mention he killed in one one button push from the two ability there from the Keshiks. <laughs> Trebs are coming, coming in now from in, yeah. Eden as well, just trying to kind of stop any of the pushes. But the Eden guys are grabbing the supply point in the back. Matix is going to try and then sort out uh, holding that defense there and actually getting away into the gate, in the small gate. The only issue with this now is if you don't have guys coming through the front gate, you're coming through this at an even, an even, an even smaller spot. gate. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and it's not that bad issue. that they've lost the supply because they've got one right next to C, which is technically closer as well. Yeah. Um, they've got Aranos still just sat there posted up with my so that nobody can yep, get it exactly this is this is why it's such a such a easily defendable map when it comes to it because you don't really have to make much rotations from it um if you're in the right positions and you don't have any artillery for example that you don't have to move yeah. units on a constant so that will be interesting to see where you didn't move from here they're all kind of going I don't know, like, I don't know why they're going up to the home point looking like, because maybe in, in, like, another scenario you would kind of do that, but at this point in time. I wonder if they're looking for maybe treb angles or something. Like, because they get a little bit higher ground if they can maybe try and place a decent treb somewhere, but there's nothing really no, to No, not treb. really. The majority of the units are in the corner. The only units that are up top, top are the javelins that you could potentially hit up there. Um, but they're just going to come over javelin and then go back again and disappear before the, the you know, trebs even comes in, so... Tifo's crazy, just got caught out at the front. I don't know what he was doing yeah, Zengu, there. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> He's got Shenjins as well. <clears throat> That's the thing, it's about picking up the heroes. The if they can pick guard. up some hero kills and get the units to disappear, that's where your kind of goal is at this point in time. Um, but they don't really have... So they're going to push from the back and the side at the same oh, time. They've, they've managed to come in the small side gate here and they're all going to get pushed in together and coming in from the main gate. Ghost X has got some units coming in, Iron Reapers are coming and charging into this, the point, and they're going to cap the point because there's nothing on it at the moment in time, but the Javelins from behind, from Mizak, are trying to they're trying to deal some damage, but it looks like they've got in, and... They've got in think, really well as well. I don't uh, think there's a way to push hero. them off of it. Yeah, I don't think they've got a way of pushing... Like, Blame Elis have a way of pushing them back off of this at this point. It is ISGs there, and they're not going to really do much in the grand scheme of things with all these Iron Reapers around. So... Ah. Yeah, you're just going to have Iron Reapers coming in. Here comes a unit of Keshik, though. Is that going to pick up a couple of heroes here? There's plenty of heroes in there. Sexy Kebab yeah. from Eden as well went through the tunnel and climbed up the very back ladder. And wiped like a couple of units and a hero back there as well. So that was a good little little flank from him. Plenty of heroes going down. No, we're down to 10 on the defense, though, from uh, Blame Elias. Down to 9, make that 9. Yeah, they're they're definitely this. falling quicker than Eden are. And yeah. Eden are pack getting the supply point there. They were trying to... Cap the little small supply point. 
Lamar by Lax is picked up by General Reap, and it looks like, yeah, eight, eight heroes. There's still 12 of Eden on the attack here side, but the two Shursers are staying well on the point here. Cray and Aranor doing what they can to survive as long as possible. It looks like uh, Blame Elias are actually going to try and still defend C as well. They're not just giving it up and going back to the end point. They've actually got their reinforcements coming back in. Um, Eden lost more troops than Blame Elias did on that push, though, yeah. which is interesting. Slightly, you would think yeah. that they killed more heroes. <clears throat> They've got roughly the same left, though, so the troops they lost weren't as, as high quality, let's say. So, so far, that's actually, that's actually pretty well. Even though they lost like the, the heroes, they eventually got the hero count back up toward, on their side and pushed the uh, Eden guys back out. And as you can see, they're pushing down to the supply point, just trying to kill the rest of these heroes, Matix and ASMG, uh, just getting pushed off just now from Bravo yeah. as a musket. And they're picking up that supply point back up and pretty much resetting up for the next push. Oh no, he's just pushed him back. Um, hero kills Destroy. difference as well. Blame Elias have lost 15 and Eden have lost 11 so far. So it's actually pretty close. And two of those yeah. at the beginning were bombards as well. So in the engagements themselves, it was 11 and 13. Pretty, so they're pretty very even, evenly yeah. matched. Yeah. It was just not enough units left over from that push there, I think, for Eden to yeah. kind of continue the push onto the point and keep the point there. But overall, like they, they're kind of similar matched up. There's still 12 trebs available on the side of Eden. Obviously, if they can get them in at any point in time mainly for the home point push yeah, but they have to yeah. move quickly and Eden are trying to muster quite closely together and uh, do a similar idea to push and get in as quickly as possible before I mean troops wise because they've got three they've got basically troops for two more pushes so this one and then one afterwards uh, mm -hmm. time wise probably they should have enough time to do it as long as they don't hesitate too much yeah I don't see Eden being a hesitant kind of kind of no. side they definitely get themselves organized quickly and they're moving always quickly and always moving to where they have to be going so you see they've the got lots of the units. wall as well he's trying to look for their engines i think so they can mm -hmm. see where they can send the heroes to get rid of them if you notice in the little back here in the little back portion you've got uh, three different he uh, classes of units here just sitting waiting for when eden do make that push in and they come out from the little back way so it looks like there's very little units there but then they all come up have used all their abilities to push into the home point. I just had a um, look in the tunnel, there's no one there. Here we go, there's the javelin sergeants from Veggie back up at the top here again, trying yeah. to deal some damage. As the units come in, Iron Rupert Charge is coming from Blitz there even. in the back. But it's definitely, go oh, it's a close fight here, an even fight here. We're down to 40 now in terms of heroes, and the units counts are going down to yeah, pretty much even the whole way through. It could go either way. But it looks like Eden will grab the point, the majority of the point anyway. This at this point, slightly winning the hero duels as well. They can keep hold off some of these heroes, Joes. Yeah, because if they can kill these short swords off that point, that will be Eden's point at this point. Uh, Pans are still surviving for as long as possible. So is Crow the mercenary, but Mizak has to jump on as a musket player, medium armor class can survive it. long enough, but not enough. It looks like yeah, it looks like Eden still have the numbers. On unit wise, and are able to push yeah. out with them. Sanji's Elias up top from Blue Mills. Javelins as well. They've they've run out of ammo. I was thinking, why are they not throwing? Oh no, he had ammo. Why didn't he throw the whole time? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. But where's this push going though? Have we got anybody pushing up to stop top here from Eden, or is they just all in the push? We've got they're all eight heroes. Stay. Yeah, so it's nine versus five just now. So Eden, they, if they can realize how out. many people they have, they can move there quite quickly and start yeah. preparing for the the home push. But it looks like AS Mag's looking for the supply point rather than the, the home point push here. But they've got nine minutes, so it's plenty of time. The uh, difference as well is only 20 different, so they've... they've yeah, pretty they've, even. They've actually yeah. got the advantage now in terms of number-wise. But And now hero yeah. deaths is 26 for Blame Elias to 19 from Eden. Yeah, that's a very, very strong well push there from Eden, I think. I was actually expecting the defending team to win this easy, like both times. I mean, it's especially still, with no still artillery. Chance, still a chance. Still a chance. Yeah, but if they've if they've broken C, can you see them not taking the end I mean, point? At this point, there's two areas to defend, right? That you need to really worry about before them getting in. The small gate, obviously, and then you've got the archways, the, the, uh, just the, the back staircase, the if you like. The staircase, yeah. Um, if but you can hold more... off that back defense bit of here where the the small gate, the back gate is, um, then yeah, you should be okay. But the trap because you should be avoiding all the traps because you're not in the position to be trapped but it's uh yeah it's really hard to do that the small gate you always kind of keep units there just to make sure in case people fully rotate to the to the archways but for the majority it's it seems like the the eden would have the advantage here 
I think unit wise they have as well. They've got Zakali and Militia, which are just ridiculous in like a Zerg rush. Um, Ugurai, for an example, for Blame Militia is on his Pike Militia, so that's one unit that they're definitely worse off with. They've got mm -hmm. it's the same Might amount of Javelin as well, so like they're going to just deal damage as often they've got as the same they amount can. of tier 5. Oh, Elias are pushing, pushing him back on the stairs, look. Oh, they're going to get trapped there though and lose a lot of units. Yeah, that's an interesting push out. They they seen the number advantage and thought, you know what, take the we can we can get rid of this and win. There. Yeah, but now Eden are pushing in and they've got the advantage on the base point, which is yeah. So they're going to get important. <laughs> yeah, interesting point. Are they going to get a tribe in here as well now that they're going to be on cooldown? Um, obviously, Blame Elias are rotating back in from that gateway here to try and post them out there, but. The Treb will That's come really in. Good, yeah. As the armor guards and all the cavalry come in, is it going to hit just as they come in? Oh, I think they've been just lucky there. The majority of them, we got very lucky. Yeah, very Goes lucky. Goes through them all. Blame Elias have managed to push them back a little bit. They got a lot of hero here. kills there, man. Yeah, they're down to seven Eden on the attack here. So Blame Elias did a good job there with killing their heroes out. And um, now they've got a hundred only... unit difference as well. They're, they actually. I was just about to say they've only well. lost one, but <laughs> yeah, that was a that was a considering that Treb came in. And they managed to just avoid everything from it um, and get the Kiro kills. That was a very, very strong defense there. I think there. Blame Elise are going to fight the guys on the supply as well. There's only five of them. Yeah, they're going to go got straight no for them. They've got Lama and Alex there stopping them getting new units. They might get Treb Deer though. But I think Lazy and Pirat has seen it, so he's going to go oh, around. Here comes a prefecture Pike Charge, but the Treb hits them all. Every single one of them yeah, gets that, smacked by that, that Treb. That was a really <laughs> good Treb actually. Very well timed, but they're yeah, they're five heroes. Should wipe them now, though. Should wipe everybody now. Yeah, they're down to six, as the ones that are spawning in. But the trebs coming in again. They're gonna try and treb these units here. We're yeah. quite close though. So 194 for Eden though. They're losing their numbers pretty quickly here, and it is only Aaron Reapers, and then there's a village watchman in there as well. So I mean, that's not really gonna to be too much for the this push for the next time round. I'm Blame sure Blame Elise is gonna try and do what they can. Nine. Uh, the attackers are up to 14, so if they can capitalize now and push in, Blame Elise might be in a world of hurt here because they've lost more heroes, so their respawn time is going to be a lot slower. Yeah, that is very true. That's very true. That might bite them in the ass that they were like a bit too over aggressive Over. there. They've yeah. got Fort Brack here, who's blocking that's the, uh, the, the, the archway. Got, here, here comes the village watchman from Eden, followed by what's going to be three units of Iron Reapers. And then it'll be a yeah. Fort Abrasio unit in behind that. The Treb comes in to just take out some of the village watchmen that are defending. It's, but they've got Senjis there as well. Senjis are going to try and do some damage here. Server, uh, Crate That's is uh, using them. That's oh, the Ankabak of the Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it was the... I was wondering I, what they I did. I thought as well. I was like, oh, what's that Tertio? And then I looked and I was like, oh, it's the... Oh, Eden, <laughs> Eden are up onto the numbers, though. They're four men advantage here. Make that five as the Treb comes in. Lots of heroes fighting now on the home point, and the home point looks like it's slowly going to get capped here. If they can start beating off some of these heroes, beating Iron Reapers is going to be rough, man. As yeah. well, yeah. Um, oh, the Iron Reapers Blame are just there. Got there. Palace Ready. Guards in, they've just got Fort Abracchio. Lamley, like Alex, has still got his jabs up as well. So if they can survive the Reapers, we're, we're double up in the heroes. It's seven versus fourteen. Eden with a strong push here. If they kill off Lamley, the Alex. It's only Uruguay coming on with some Cav here as well. Kebab Fox in there checks. with Cav as well. I don't yeah, think they can go. clear it. There's too many I heroes alive. They they're just swapping their units. If the heroes can... Yeah, they're a way to treb the javelin sergeants, but the javelins have moved forward a little bit. That will still kind of take out some units that are coming in and damage a lot of heroes here on that treb if they can get it hitting well. But 13 versus 7. It is yeah. pretty much a death match at this point of who can survive the longest. There's plenty of pole axes though from Blame Elias who are surviving long enough and not being CC'd here. They are slowly are gonna start killing off though. players. Because they've got four minutes to hold. They've lost a lot more heroes over the, the course of the battle. They've lost 46 to Eden's 36. I mean, there's like no units left either. There's 61 yeah. versus 42 units. It is literally going to be a death match here for the home point. And it's all down to who can pick up the heroes kills quicker than the others. Eden have no heroes. Uh, heroes. They've got no units now as well. Like literally none. Yeah. Eight, eight, eight units left. So it was literally nothing. Eight versus nine. There you go, there's uh, Eden are they down to seven hold. on the attack now. Yeah, it looks like they are. They, they, they've managed to kill the heroes off and they were down to five heroes alive. There's still three minutes left, but at this point in time, it's going to be getting onto the point together and trying to kill off all these pole axes. But the pole axes are just surviving for so long. 
They've got like a couple of palace guards running around. They're just saying they've got like maybe half a unit of Zakali militia that are going back to get un uh, units to get ammo. They've got four of them left. Otherwise, yeah, there are yeah. literally no units for Blame Elias. Yeah, it is just a death match now. We're going to wait however many minutes it will be for the whole Eden stack to get their whole 15 players back alive. And then it'll be 15v15 on the home point here for this yeah. final patient. It'll be down to who can do the damage and focus up the heroes. But they go quickly. The blame areas have changed to so many sword swords. There's so many of them. Just so they survive. Yeah, they've got three minutes for that survivability. Survive. By the time swap... Eden get back in, though, they might have maybe two minutes that the, only that they have to, to, to hold on for. It's a good shot, man, to, to get as many short swords as possible. Go, have them um, of Eden changed to more... Now. Like, if they remove nah, they all seem, of their short they seem swords. to have a few more pole axes, but they don't seem yeah. to have removed anything. They need to get damage dealing units, yeah. uh, heroes, sorry, but... I wouldn't be surprised if nobody comes with a short sword on this bush. Seems like it's... Uh, there's a few more pikes, pole axes, mauls, muskets. Not not a single short sword so not far. a single short sword no, the last the last one to come in picks up a mall so yeah there's no short swords whatsoever yeah. it's all yeah. damage dealing they've got a final yeah, fight both here teams know be... what they have to do so this is going to be interesting two minutes man here we go here comes the hero push look at biggies now they're all going around the right hand side now they, they try and think and focus these tribes if they can focus the tribes there's still two of them left after this one if they can try and damage some of the heroes prior to the push the layers as well. have seen it though i don't think they have you know so there's a, a lot of heroes sat there. I don't think it's going to get the heroes. The only thing is, the tribe can deal damage to yourself as a hero as well. Yeah. 13 Dead. versus 12 on the fight point here. All these short swords don't deal enough damage to kill. Nah. That's the only issue. So if Eden can do it. Either. Yeah, they're not surviving because they're getting full focus from the whole of Eden's groups. They're, they're focusing one at a time the and point. killing them all. 13 versus 5 with one minute left. I think they can do this. I think Eden is going to nab this one. Mr. It Tuck's looks being, like it might be clever, the last though. Second. He's staying in the background and waiting for the short swords to die to go on, so they can't just keep damaging him straight off the bat. Him as Pike That's as well. That's short sword. Just... gone. There you go. They're down to three heroes, and Mr. Tuck's the last Your guy's guy. getting chased so far away that he's not going to be able to get on the point. Lamb of the Craze right there, focus though. He's going to be able to get on just in time. Lamb of the Craze is on. Just yeah, he's on the point. Instantly he's died, insta though. dead, and that's it. He didn't grab it. The very GG. last second is a death man. 50 seconds left to go as well, man. <laughs> that was, uh, that was, that was difficult. Yeah. yeah. There were so that many was, uh... times where it looked like it could go one way or the other, man. And like both teams at the end there, like, Elias knew they had to survive, so they just went short swords. But like you said, they just couldn't kill There's anything. no damage, yeah. Yeah. You literally have no damage. Like, you can survive for long enough, but if you're getting focused by 15 players fighting you, it doesn't matter how much health you have or how much damage, or like, short sword iron sides you have or whatever, you, you're that. You, you've got no chance of it. Um, that's why, like, obviously the the whole jumping and on and off the point, like they were trying to do, doesn't really work because as soon as you get focused with by that many pole axes, you're uh, you're stuck. You're dead. But yeah, yeah. Asimig was uh, the MVP here for Eden. Seven hero kills, 134 unit kills, 23 assists. So they're definitely working together. If you look yeah. down the list, the lot of them are all get quite high in terms of assists. There's nothing anything below 10 assists. So. Yeah, definitely all working definitely. together to get these fights and kills, um, which obviously makes a massive difference. If you see it on Blame Elias' side, they're not the same in terms of the uh, assist points. There's a definitely a difference in that. Um, but also the hero points shows um, how many they times lost a lot they, more Blame heroes died well, in comparison. They? Yeah, um, It did come out as an even fight for uh, unit-wise, though, as we've seen. And that's probably one yeah. of the first times I've seen the fight be that close, um, where there's been no units left uh, available. Um, and when you look at the post match analysis, yeah, there's like when you when you look at the overall graph there, it's pretty similar. Every single time there was a fight, it was about the same amount of deaths uh, either yeah. way, apart from like just at the end there when uh, so the units that are low main and a little bit different on defense and they are on attack. But I think yeah, the second a... engagement as well, the one where the red spike was a bit higher, that was where um, Elias like sallied out on the end point and like managed to wipe some on the stairs and come back and clear off the base. Mm, um, definitely, yeah. But 60, 63 heroes killed to 46 from Blame Elias. That's the big difference, man. That's like half again as much deaths, if you like, for, for Blame Elias. That is not what you want to see as a on a tournament thing where your respawn times just get worse and worse.